Okay, we can start. Um, this time, see, as I said. Uh, yeah. yeah, hello to everyone. Uh, I'm Tony Skoski from uh, Macedonia. Uh, I'm the main organizer for the Wiki Expedition in Macedonia, uh, which is was the uh, uh, idea that uh, I took from Polish guys uh, that uh, I heard um, uh, their idea about how they conduct uh, week expeditions at the sea conference in Belgrade, that was my first ever conference uh, of uh, Wikipedia. And after that, uh, I uh, think that uh, it is uh, a very nice uh, event when uh, people can uh, get around uh, and uh, to get our pictures, uh, images uh, that is uh, uh, from forgotten villages or um, protected monuments that uh, are um, not uh, uh, that exist only uh, at the official lists uh, somewhere and uh, nothing more. Uh, I think that is nice to start with uh, Paweł, like uh, uh, Polish idea first, and after that uh, everyone. Else. So, <coughs> hello everyone, uh, my name is Paolo. Uh, oh yes, I am a Wikipedian, that's why. Hello, hello Paolo. Paolo. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, a quick introduction to the, to the whole the, uh, wiki expedition idea. So, it came up in 2009, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, in 2009. Yes, yeah. in 2009, and it was a brilliant idea by magnificent user Shikuta, who is uh, not longer active right now, but uh, uh, his idea was simply, can we get a bunch of, uh, bunch of people uh, for a week and take as many pictures of one place as we are able to do? So, it was 2009, it was kind of wild years from today's perspective, so we simply did this, and uh, it turns out it, uh, it went, well, it went out uh, quite well. Actually, if I'm looking at the statistics, uh, we had like uh, expeditions in this formula uh, since 2009 to 2015, so we had like a bunch of showing what they're saying. <laughs> So we had like a bunch of bunch of iterations of of uh, uh, wiki expedition in this exact uh, formula, and uh, actually uh, we were quite impressed with the with the outcomes. And uh, since like last year and this year, we were actually not able to do this in in, in this version. Um, simply because, uh, well, from the community perspective, it kind of makes less sense to do this in this version, because um, for many years it was more or less uh, like similar type of people, so we basically needed someone with a car, uh, some like bunch of guys who are able to uh, go photograph for a week or even for two weeks uh, for for some time, um, and uh, it it was working quite nice until we had like these people. So we had people uh, who are going to wiki expeditions every year, uh, me included. Um, but in the end, right now. Most of the most of the photo events, like wiki expeditions, are done via via micro grants from uh, from Wikimedia Polska. So it's actually much easier to organize for like two, three people go somewhere for the weekend than to find like five, six, seven people for one week because it's much more much more work basically to find this amount of uh, this amount of people who also want to uh, finally upload these pictures. 
because it will end up with having like thousands of pictures. So this is the problematic thing we need to uh, we need to uh, remember. Um, okay, so that's the starting point from my perspective. I maybe uh, yeah, if you want to continue. Alright, and yeah, okay. Even closer. Yeah. Alright. Oh, oh, nice. nice. Okay, uh, I'm Jan from uh, Wikimedia Czech Republic, and okay, how we started with, uh, with Wiki Expeditions. We started really easy. For us it was easy, because we started at the Polish Wiki Expeditions. Uh, we, we got for a few years, to come in in 2011, I think, one person at first, then two persons, uh, joined the Polish Expeditions, and uh, learn uh, how uh, people are uh, doing it here in Poland. So we were uh, just the uh, participants. And uh, then one year, I think that it was 2012, there was a group of, with uh, Adam Kliczek, the Polish organizer of Wiki Expeditions, who added to the expedition some kind of a PR part means that he was contacting the local radios and uh, stuff like that. And uh, we decided to take this idea and to do the, do the same. So then we, uh, we started to do the expeditions in the Czech Republic. But uh, the problem all the time were people. We have a few really active photographers, but uh, it's, it's better to do expeditions in a more, much more people. So uh, we were uh, fi trying to find a good format. We were and then we were connecting the expeditions with uh, photographic workshops. So people were not only taking photos of the villages and stuff like that, but they were as well uh, learn how to be a better photographers, how to shoot a better movies, for example, and stuff like that. So now we are uh, still doing the exp expeditions, uh, more or less, every year. Uh, last year there was an expedition in cooperation with Poland and uh, Silesia. This year it was in the uh, west of the country, uh, west of the Czech Republic. But uh, what I want to say, we are not doing only this uh, big expeditions for a whole week. But there is a problem, as I say, with um, human resources. We are doing as well uh, one-day trips. We have a plan for that, and everyone who wants can just take a car and travel anywhere around the Czech Republic and take photographs for one day. We, uh, why is this uh, easier? It's easier because you don't need a holiday, you can do it uh, on a weekend or one day or two days. You can do it on your own and uh, after one day you have uh, just, let's say, 200, 300 of photographs. When you came home uh, after the expedition, which takes 10 days, you have uh, around 5,000 photographs, which is ridiculous. And you spend another three weeks with uh, uploading them and uh, like that. Sometimes three months as well. And uh, yeah, so we are doing these uh, one day trips as well, and we have uh, quite good results with them because not only the idiots are joining, but uh, people who just want to help are joining and do a trip, sometimes with family, and uh, during the trip they are taking photos for Wikipedia. Right, so that's uh, what we are doing in Chicago. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, we, we in Macedonia uh, started in 2015. So far we had uh, uh, four or six week expeditions per year, but uh, it is uh, different, uh, uh, like uh, we uh, organize just uh, on the weekends or uh, on holidays when uh, our people are free, because it is a very time-consuming job, like uh, Jan uh, said. Um, you spend uh, whole days um, at the expedition, and after that you need to categorize all of the uh, first to upload uh, those images, and uh, after that to categorize properly, and after that uh, even to create articles. And uh, 
Uh, it uh, takes a lot of time. Uh, but uh, uh, I, my caller Kirill uh, wrote an uh, excellent uh, learning pattern. Uh, it's uh, on Meta, <laughs> of course. And uh, you can find it or you can contact us uh, like uh, uh, what you need to do uh, before to start uh, any expedition. Uh, what, uh, on example, step one, uh, I, I just uh, will be, uh, this is uh, just a short summer. Like, uh, uh, you need first to find uh, any region that is underrepresented on commons, that is, uh, has no single photos or it has uh, uh, very few photos on commons out, uh, about that, uh, those regions. Uh, in Macedonia, uh, it exists a lot of regions that is not covered. Uh, and uh, we had uh, 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 many areas to cover in the upcoming years. It is not uh, the case like uh, in Poland. Even in Macedonia is a small country, but it's uh, due, mount due our mountains and uh, not so many uh, access to the, uh, to, uh, with the proper roads. Uh, we need to, to spend uh, a lot of energy. Uh, we, uh, we have so many off-road uh, rides, like uh, on, uh, uh, to, to the villages that is not connected with uh, asphalt routes uh, to the regional, uh, uh, regional uh, routes uh, on, in the country. So it uh, takes a lot of uh, time and that is uh, and that is the first uh, 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 that you need uh, to do, and after that uh, uh, we uh, we uh, this, uh, we starting to with uh, uh, a preliminary uh, uh, research, like uh, what uh, what uh, exists in those villages, like uh, uh, churches, monuments, uh, schools, uh, museums, or whatever. Uh, after that, uh, uh, we just uh, go on site and take uh, pictures. Uh, and uh, also, uh, we use, I don't know if that is the case in Czech Republic and Poland and UK, and we also speak with the citizens of the, those villages. And uh, in many, uh, and, uh, many of, the, of those talks, uh, we ask uh, people about the uh, origin of the name of the village, uh, uh, what uh, 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 where is the uh, uh, did uh, any old uh, church or something exist in the past uh, that is not recorded in the book uh, uh, that uh, give us uh, information that we need to to uh, search deeper about those uh, that uh, region uh, and we use that uh, that uh, those talks uh, with uh, citizens after that. Uh, and uh, uh, because uh, as uh, I said uh, that due uh, uh, mountains in Macedonia, uh, we uh, we make also uh, a part at uh, many types of uh, week expedition. On example, we make uh, uh, geo expeditions, like uh, when we go to hiking just. Uh, without uh, our cars uh, to take uh, pictures of uh, just on lakes and uh, mountain peaks uh, or, and uh, also uh, in August this year I, because I'm a passionate cyclist uh, I, had, I organized first the group of uh, velo expeditions like just with our uh, own bikes uh, and it, well, it went well, uh, it went well uh, we uh, visit uh, uh, eight uh, uh, villages. Uh, uh, it takes uh, one day to uh, to visit all of that, that uh, villages, but it was uh, ha hardly accessible with car. So uh, it was nice uh, uh, nice move that we took about that. So in the future, I think that in Estonia we have to try new forms of uh, expeditions like uh, to cover all of the territory uh, all, all the surface that uh, all the villages. Okay, uh, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Ras. Uh, I am from uh, Kimalia, Ukraine. 
sorry, but uh, I don't speak English very, speak English, uh, very well. Uh, so Victor help me. Um, uh, expedition in Ukraine. Uh, expedition in Ukraine started uh, in 2011, uh, and we uh, uh, make total uh, 70 uh, expedition. Uh, you see. Uh, 20, uh, 2011 uh, for expedition uh, 7 uh, and uh, in uh, 2015 uh, we uh, make 3 expedition uh, and uh, 2016 uh, we make uh, 20 expedition because uh, since uh, 2016 uh, we uh, stopped a uh, new system of application uh, has uh, begun the application uh, consists of uh, three uh, stages. Uh, filling uh, uh, application. an application, expedition, uh, and write a, a, a report. Uh, and uh, all pictures in the presentation uh, we make in the expedition. Uh, participants uh, participant, uh, must uh, fill uh, out the Google form. Uh, name uh, of uh, the expedition, uh, list participants, uh, participants uh, and uh, their uh, obligation. Mm, uh, during the uh, duration of application, uh, the possible and the uh, accuracy of the expedition. Uh, expect uh, expected the results, results uh, road and uh, uh, budget. And budget. Uh, after uh, expedition, uh, 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 so after the expedition, uh, we need uh, a report uh, and uh, just to uh, to have please it. Please uh, use the microphone. Oh, please, okay, okay. Uh, and uh, to. Uh, to have to have a financial report and uh, to, to upload to the gallery all the photo uh, and uh, to have uh, some uh, articles uh, to, to be written new and improved. Yeah, uh, and uh, we must uh, write uh, uh, five uh, uh, new uh, article on Wikipedia and five uh, new article and uh, Wiki Voyage to to improve uh, both projects. And uh, this uh, uh, this uh, winter, uh, I uh, this is uh, to to us, uh, <laughs> this, this is uh, this is some uh, <laughs> I uh, go in uh, the February uh, 11 and 16 uh, in the Carpathian Mountains, uh, uh, and uh, we uh, rode uh, uh, 60 uh, kilometers, uh, almost uh, 200 photos. Uh, we uh, improved and uh, illustrated about uh, 20 uh, articles and created uh, 10 uh, new articles on Wikipedia and uh, Wiki Voyage. And I uh, want to show you this uh, our page of uh, Wiki Expedition. I want to show you a video with uh, this expedition. No, look, uh, uh, this is a, this is a, a report from expedition, so how it uh, looks like. Just this participant, uh, uh, six participants, report, you uh, see? report of the each day, so, uh, map, uh, in so this is uh, the report from this uh, Chernohora expedition, uh, mm -hmm. but it uh, look uh, um, all the other uh, should uh, do like uh, this way after the expedition, uh, according to the new system of uh, it. This uh, new articles, uh, list, list of articles created uh, and uh, improved articles. See, uh, articles in Wiki Voyage here uh, also included, and, uh, uh, and which and articles improved by uh, images uh, in Wikipedia. So, working in dangerous conditions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Вот. Вот здесь галерея фото. Weather is good, uh, first day, uh, second day, but uh, in uh, St. Valentine days, <laughs> uh, mountains not, not plow us. The celebration like from the weather, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and uh, uh, this uh, blog post. Which part of the Ukraine is that? It's uh, Kalpasan Mountains. Oh, okay. It's a good spot to show. No, a good spot to put in the tabloids. Uh, and uh, also, we uh, ask uh, to uh, write an article in the blog. So, here is uh, the link to, to the, this article in the blog. Uh, and also, I just want to add uh, to us uh, that uh, uh, after adopting new system of uh, such micro grants for week expedition, uh, we attract um, um, s um, some uh, new uh, users and uh, some, some new people, uh, and they want to participate in expedition and the. Uh, uh, and the <laughs> Forget English. Uh, and uh, the titles of the expeditions uh, are very different. Uh, and uh, for example, uh, we had uh, also archaeological expeditions because uh, some boys are interested in archaeology. And uh, uh, thanks for this uh, system of uh, micro grants, uh, they uh, managed to do this um, expedition. And also, it's very important for us because we, uh, when we do Wikilovs monuments, we don't have uh, archaeological site photographs. So. Also, maybe in the future, it provides some uh, rail expedition, uh, such as, uh, but uh, this uh, uh, program of microgrant uh, gives such opportunity. Can I ask how many of you were on the Carpathian expedition? Uh, uh, yes, six. Six, six persons. Good to know. Maybe. More questions? How many survived? I would have a different question. Um, you support all these wiki expeditions uh, some way. My question is that uh, what is the cost which you can cover as a Wikimedia affiliate. Uh, do you cover cost of the, the travel, cost only, train or car, benzene, I don't know, or or accommodation, or, or, or so which kind of food, which which equipment can you can you borrow, buy? Uh, I would like to What is your practice? Uh, yeah, uh, practice in Macedonia is uh, that uh, we we are not giving uh, actually scholarship to other people, but uh, we are doing uh, same group of people. Uh, we do the expedition, so we invite other people to join us. So, uh, uh, but the uh, cover costs are fuel, for fuel, accommodation, and uh, food, and that is the only part. Uh, photographic uh, equipment, uh, GPS, uh, um, or, or another equipment that we need uh, during uh, the expedition, uh, we it is uh, on voluntary base. Uh, it is not covered, but uh, uh, from uh, uh, WMF uh, grant. So it is. Uh, it should probably depends if you are going for one day expedition or for like on your own or for some long a lot more days. If you are going just for one day, the price of a fuel or of a of a transport is fully covered, and uh, that's it. Uh, and if you are going for a more day expeditions, price of a fuel transportation everything is covered. Then. Uh, Accommodation is fully covered, like a reasonable accommodation, of course, and then food is covered as is given by the law. So uh, there is some kind of a reimbursement for every day. It's um, not that the food is not fully covered, but uh, it covers, let's say, the 
breakfast and uh, the lunch, you know, covers the dinner, it's some amount of money which is given to you by the by the law if you are an employee. And uh, that's it. And uh, the thing uh, that you can borrow from the Committee Entry Republic, the cameras, um, the GPS equipment and stuff like that. So you are supported, you have a full support of a Committee Entry Republic if you are going for an expedition. Uh, yeah, so uh, our situation is similar to the Czech Republic, uh, uh, but we don't have our own uh, like stuff like cameras or something, but uh, the, the food accommodation and cost of travel is... Uh, you basically need to film the form. It, and you have like the equivalent of one day diet and the uh, cost of travel is up to up to the tickets or the uh, amount of kilometers you do by a car or by a there is uh, a there is a rate which we've got in our uh, association documents yes how much money can be refunded per kilometer and you just you know you just write down the numbers from your odometer uh, and for for public transport you simply submit your uh, train tickets, you know, no first class, <laughs> nothing like that. So we, we try to be reasonable, but you basically submit your paperwork and, and it's refunded on this basis. More, more hostel than hotel? Yes, yes, we try to keep these costs at a reasonable level, but you know, not, 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 not like uh, uh, living under the tent in the swamps. <laughs> but then, then again, the share tent. <laughs> Then again, the chef. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. So, my, my question is uh, I know answer for my chapter, but no answer for the uh, board. Yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. for uh, other chapters, because we had a very long discussion in, in our chapter about the effectiveness of the expeditions. And, uh, uh, not only in terms of uh, uh, how many. Na, uh, pictures or how many uh, of, uh, <coughs> articles are written, but also about the uniqueness of the stuff. When you can do something without actually, especially coming to a given place and take pictures which will be probably sooner or later taken anyway, we had such, such discussion in, in, in Polish uh, f, f chapter, so then uh, f, uh, it was uh, voices that it doesn't make sense to all organize this. And uh, so my question is, if you have such kind of assessment of e effectiveness, for example, your uh, example with this uh, the Carpathian uh, 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 expedition, uh, my, I haven't checked what really was uploaded and so on, but uh, it seems six people, 200 pictures, and six articles. It's, it's not very impressive from the point of view of uh, the, uh, uh, the added value to, to the project. So this is my... <laughs> so Six new articles, but uh, more improved and uh, in degree. Yes, yes, but it's still not, not that impressive. But uh, at least for our... Uh, we had uh, usually roughly 2,000 pictures per user and at least 20, 30 articles written by 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 by, by every, every participants in but it all, of, of course it depends on the situation but and uh, my general question if you have such kind of assessment in your uh, chapter uh, or if you are even thinking ab 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 about this value for uh, for as a cost uh, uh, issue <coughs> Uh, so uh, first, uh, we should uh, have a request for the week expedition. Where the person uh, who want to participate uh, just to write uh, what they plan to do. Uh, so we, we, what will be the budget of this, uh, and uh, what we, uh, what are expected results. Uh, then uh, uh, we can uh, uh, just uh, to answer two, two questions. Uh, we can uh, give some uh, amount of money prepared, just it's uh, not uh, more than 20 percent. And uh, so, and uh, when we had uh, uh, the request for week expedition, we have uh, a discussion. Sometimes uh, not many people participate in this discussion, but we uh, we are uh, uh, taking uh, decision: is it uh, worth uh, just to do this expedition or not? Uh, I, as far as I remember, some uh, person wanted to make photo by drone, uh, 
and but he needs uh, the budget was very <coughs> high, so it uh, was not uh, uh, do by this way. So we can't uh, grant this uh, expedition. We but if it's wait with buying a drone until shortly after Christmas. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, if. Uh, <coughs> If uh, uh, we think that uh, this uh, expedition is uh, worth uh, to be done, so uh, it is granted, and uh, after we need a report, uh, if uh, the result uh, uh, is, uh, uh, is okay with uh, what we expected, so it, uh, the costs are refunded to the person. And uh, also, uh, to the first question, uh, I want to mention that uh, we uh, refund the main uh, this accommodation and uh, uh, with uh, uh, transport and with uh, food, uh, but uh, not alcohol drinks. So oh, yeah, of course it's forbidden. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I didn't like I, we didn't mention it from our Polish perspective because it's so obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Which it is. They apply that. Yeah, nice question, Tomasz. Uh, uh, we, um, I think it is advantage that we in Macedonia are the same team, are the same people, uh, or five or six, that we are going to expedition. So uh, we have, uh, I think, uh, 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 standards about what to take a picture from. So uh, when we are entering in the in the village, uh, we are taking picture. We are taking picture. Uh, we are making panoramic uh, photos of, of that uh, of that village. After that, uh, of the social and the religious building. So uh, we are making. Uh, I know that uh, you are asking about. Uh, 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 we are uh, we are taking pictures just uh, from the object that after that we, we can put in the article and uh, the usage of our uh, photographs uh, uh, taken during expedition are above uh, 80 or 90 percent uh, so it is, uh, I think uh, it is a big question like, uh, and to, it, uh, it has to be uh, thinking about uh, before starting any expedition Okay any more questions? No. Maybe, maybe, okay. I can, uh, maybe I can answer, answer it from the point of the uh, Czech Republic. Like, um, our goal is to photograph every Czech <coughs> village. Uh, we are at 80% right now, and the budget for uh, photographic grants uh, and for, for weekly expeditions is not so high. Like, per one euro spent, we can do around 20 photographs. So it means that uh, costs per per village are about uh, two three euros. So it's not so high, not so high costs uh, in our point of view. How many was that per, per euro? Yeah. Uh, it was about 20, 20 pictures. Twenty photos per euro spent. Yeah. Wow. Okay, it depends. I, I it, to no, it depends. It depends on. Um, if you are using, like, this is for one day expeditions. Uh, if you are using the public transport, it's uh, like this. If you are using car, it can be higher. It's about, uh, I don't have a, it's about one body, but uh, for a picture, but don't worry. Okay, and uh, so for us, the goal is so important that we are spending uh, spending a budget on that. And I think that there was, uh, there was a discussion about that. And um, the, the result is that it's uh, worth to it to cover whole Czech Republic uh, by free photographs under free licenses. And just a remark that this cost is like for one day and for like multiple days when you need to have a, like a diet and accommodation the cost per village is like much higher and this is like our context where we usually have expeditions for multiple days. And the cost per photo basically wasn't like impressive especially uh, when we have like expeditions where some of the participants were like not so you know uh, not so happy with uploading this amount of pictures so we need to like 
wait uh, way more time until you will see the, the outcomes. So uh, basically what you can see is like the shorter expedition the better. Can I, can I have one more thing? One more thing is the uh, these expeditions are uh, organized by a grant, by a specific grant from Wikimedia Polska each, right? These were. And uh, you can also apply for a mini grant in our grant program, in our wiki grant program. And there is one user who just asks for a small grant, like, I don't know, 70 Zlotis, which is 16 euro or something, just to go to one of the cities to cover the mileage cost, you know, take about 100 photos and return. He just asks for the refund of his travel costs. And that's also a point where we get quite a lot of material. You know, it's just like you spend 70 slots all together and you get, what, 100 or 200 pictures of good quality because Jacek is a good photographer. So, so that's another angle to explore. Yes, and this is something we are not calling Wiki Expedition because it's no, like, because it's, yeah. a, it's a it's a grant from you know you, you can get a grant for a book or two is it applies you know like up to fifteen hundred lotties and he's taking like fifty images and it or to forty fifty seven yeah and forty five of them are uh, quality images on commons yes and like ten of them will be featured in it. so <laughs> he's his ratio for featured images per slot is <laughs> that's, that's a new metric that we can use, you know. How much does one featured image, how much did one featured image cost us? <laughs> okay. Anyone else? Okay, I have one question. Uh, all of you do the refund, right? Of the cost. You don't give the money in advance. Okay, 20%. 20%, okay. Not more. Uh, but what uh, if... Uh, we're, we're giving... I mean, advance. Okay. Yeah. So, we have those two situations. So, uh, we do have... We did uh, wiki expeditions, and now we do have some <coughs> tours, for example. But um, what happens uh, if someone um, go to the wiki expedition and then uh, come back and don't upload photos or write articles or whatever? What would you do in that situation? I mean, it, it's it's not like we are going to give money everyone. It's just those are volunteers who happens to have some reason they cannot upload or they upload three months after the expedition. Uh, just to clarify, uh, we're giving uh, in advance uh, to the community member uh, because uh, uh, we, uh, we... Sorry, no, no. My, uh, my question was, what, what would you do in a situation where a volunteer doesn't upload photo after the victor? But you didn't give him money. No, we, we gave them money and in that, advance. For <coughs> Did you have that kind of situation? Uh, no, uh, no, just, no, just uh, want to clarify. Uh, we're giving money in advance uh, because we are community members and we are uh, the same guys organizing uh, almost three year uh, expedition. Yeah, we had a similar uh, project, uh, Photocon, uh, and uh, in that uh, project, uh, uh, one person applied and proposed uh, to go uh, to the museum uh, or like uh, in Poland to buy a, a book or uh, and, uh, whatever and yeah we didn't have uh, any situation so far uh, but uh, 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 and uh, that is uh, uh, where I don't know we are uh, secure that uh, we first to, to to see the pictures and comments and after that uh, refund the money. Yeah, well, I understand why you're giving in advance because a lot of volunteers don't have the money or their students, uh, that, that's really, really common situation in Serbia. So uh, I understand that, but I just am looking for uh, ways to, you know, motivate them to uh, really upload those photos or that material, whatever, video or something, or write articles. So I'm just looking for these kind of ways. I don't uh, judge if you yeah. do that in advance. 
we are we are preparing some time when people need it, but we are doing it only with our people that we know pretty good, we trust them, and they already do a few expeditions, and we know that they will want to do more expeditions, so they are uploading the pictures all the time. Uh, there was a one more point to that. Uh, Sometimes happen that someone sit into the car in a good weather conditions, then drive 100 kilometers to the closest unphotographed village, and then it starts raining and raining for a whole day. Uh, this happens in eight years a few times, and uh, if it's not a foul of the person, like the weather or some health issues happens, we pay for this as well, even in a case that there are no results for Wikipedia. But we know that this person wanted to help and he was unable or for example he went into the museum paid for an entrance and in the end someone stopped him and told him okay you can't upload it under a free license because of blah 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 so in this case we are refunded as well even if there is no results because okay. it helps to the people to do it again but yeah that's interesting yeah. Yeah. we have that situation yeah, about the website so yeah, the the problem. <laughs> Uh, in, in our case, with the bigger, bigger expedition, we have usually a leader. So several times, Jan yeah, yeah, was this leader, and the leader get paid in advance, and he is responsible for all costs. And we trust him <coughs> that uh, 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 everything will be okay, and he has the power to get rid even of a given person during the the, 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 the expedition. If this person behaves not as expected. I, had, I was leading one of the expeditions, I had such obvious situation that he has arrived with a broken camera <coughs> and was doing completely nothing. And after two days I told him, I'm going to do something or not. And then he said, well, I'm not very happy with this expedition at all. So please, goodbye. Right, and that was the solution. Okay. Okay. Uh, when, when we do things based on grants. Sorry, sorry, but first enough. Okay. okay, thank you. Uh, so, in, 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 in Hungary, generally, we fund always the, just the, any, any support or, or funds. So, after after it happened and there is a report and we see the result, we, we, we fund the tickets and so on. Uh, but the question was what happens if, if we would keep money and we don't see the result, we don't keep any more money in the future. So this, if somebody do this once, that this, this, the, the conclusion is that we won't get fund anymore from the yeah, that's logical. We did have such a situation lately. It was not officially an, uh, an expedition, but we did have uh, one person who did not deliver the photos. It took us, in the end, it took us like four months to actually convince him to do it, but we realized that apart from banning him from, from any future cooperation, we can't do much. So it's always the matter of choosing the right people. So, so in the end, you don't sign a contract with every volunteer going out, right? So... so, so in the long run, of course, uh, the more wiki expeditions you organize, the bigger the chance there will finally, uh, you will encounter a problem, problematic user. But then again, we can't predict that, right? And you cannot extort. Oh yeah, and we, we don't have, you know, the <coughs> strong arm people to <laughs> extort money. I would like to share our experience. Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> you're yeah. first. As far as the micro grant program is concerned, this is something that, that still amazes me. This is something that you probably all know, it's an old, old record. But since we've been running it, I don't think there was a situation when a person actually failed miserably to deliver uh, what, was in the, what was in the grant proposal. Basically, we ask them for a report. Basically, in the microgram, they write, okay, I'm going to expand 20 articles, upload 750 pictures to comments. This is what we expect them to do in a very simple system based on trust. And this is what they deliver. I, I'm, I'm looking at Thomas right now, who's been on the board and who's been observing it for many, many years. And I, I don't see that he is angry with me that I'm, I'm, I've said something wrong. Was there actually a situation with a wiki grant when something went really awful? Well, there, there were several cases when uh, there were no results at all. Uh, among others, uh, one person who bought the 
a very expensive Chinese uh, English vocabulary and try to put anything there. But uh, then we just uh, do not found this person again. Sure, it's a, it's a one-way ticket, you know, for for this person. This person will not get another grant. And as Christoph has mentioned, there, there's. There's no way to extort it. I'm, I'm, I'm not the most muscular person in the, on the board and neither are the others. Yeah, I, I want to say the same uh, about the micrograms. Um, that's why they exist, because those are not extremely big uh, um, source of money, but uh, th that's why we are giving them small amounts, so if there's a risk to maybe that situation happens, we don't give them 1,000 euros or something like that. So that's why the risk is more. So, other questions? Okay, I will thank you. This, thank you all of you to, for sharing your experience.